Yo, what's going on guys, Rebuilds and I here, back with a new video, something different, a wee bit smaller than we're usually working on. But anyway, we're going to see, can we fully restore this? Basically, we're going to be, we're going to strip everything off it. So in this video, we're going to strip the like this off, take a wee motor out, see how much we get stripped off. And this frame, I'm going to actually body shoot it, like a rubber yard, and our stone chip. So when we hit bumps and stuff, you know, it's not as likely the rust or anything, because it's pretty rusted out of bike. Or quad or whatever he's working on. I'm gonna fix this maybe from a daughter. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but like that wee bits of plastic and stuff broke there. I'm gonna repair them. Choose how to repair them because you know quads can be very expensive. So it just shows if you want to buy a quad like this here, you just can fix it yourself at home. Not even with proper paint. You can just paint stuff with aerosol or get stickers. So we're gonna crack on. I'm gonna pull this frame off. Now how you do that there? There's some stuff missing out of this frame, I don't know what's missing yet. Basically there's allen keys everywhere here and stuff, you just pull all them out. And that should be able to lift straight off. Now, I don't even know what I'm doing, so we're both going to learn as we're going along. The only one I see so far is this one. So, I'm going to put it on time lapse, and we'll get this off, and get the front light and stuff out, I'll come back to you. So there you have it guys, have that front light out, basically what there is, there's two allen keys go down this way and two 10mm nuts on behind it, I actually didn't have an allen key big enough, so I just try to loosen them two 10mm nuts off behind that, just to take them out, they're actually pretty simple to come apart, you know we have your allen key here, as you did witness it did break a seat, so we're going to have to do some plastic welding for that, there's 10mm underneath here, which I didn't be, wasn't aware of, there's an allen key there, an allen key there, and one here, now we're going to have to order a new bolt kit for this, if I can get one, because I've seen there's loads missing. So, next job we're going to actually crack on, and um, we'll just I suppose we'll just take these off and lift, try and lift this engine out and see how we get on. Well there you have it guys, have the tank out, or the engine out, it was handy enough to take out, there's actually only, oh, try and get a face, there's actually only two arm, arm keys down below, so basically on screw on the engine lifts out, now, obviously we're missing stuff off this engine, I don't really know what we're missing, so if there's no other hang we're missing that you can see, I just don't know much about these, I know a new engine for one of them is about 20 quid off eBay, I know it's Chinese, but I'm sure it's only 20 quid. Now I'm going to do this and I think I'm going to lift this back off fully completely just so I can give Robbie all these because you can see it's pretty rusty, the whole thing is pretty rusty so might as well paint the whole lot. Basically how you take this wee back shock out is you just unscrew them, unscrew that wee 10 mil, so unscrew that wee 10 mil that comes out, unscrew this 15 and you can lift this whole back bit off itself. Now I've obviously took the handlebars and cables and stuff out so it's just made my life easier but I think I can separate that too. So I'm gonna crack on, separate this back bit and separate this front bit. It's the same. Fifth things and drop them we drop links off. So yeah, let's crack on.
there you have it guys have that all stripped the frames looking pretty rusted um, I took as much as I cut off like, like saying bars and stuff for your wheels but so far it was actually pretty easy to strip I didn't know I, well, I didn't really expect it to be hard like but it's all stripped as you can see so next video I'm going to talk you through what we're going to do in the next video we're going to actually sand this frame down and we're going to prime it and then we're going to stone chip it we're going to sand all them black bits down as well and do the same with them and see like these we drop links now it's rusted in places I'm going to sand these down hopefully and we're going to actually paint them black just to look, make it look better, even red or yellow some or colour so anyway guys if you want to make sure see the next video make sure you drop a like comment subscribe you know what color do you want me to do this thing i don't know what color i was going to do a pink or something for the kids but i might actually just give it away or something on facebook they are off on facebook so choose what color you want to be and we'll see what we can do so anyways this has been rebuilds na thanks for watching peace